Ever wondered how those colorful Skittles get their vibrant shells and distinct flavors? You might be surprised to learn that each Skittle starts its life as a flavorless, colorless lentil. That's right, the rainbow you see is added later. Let's take you inside the Skittles factory to see how these tiny treats transform from bland to grand. Now that the flavors are set, it's time to give these candies their iconic shape. But transforming a sticky batter into millions of perfectly round Skittles is no simple task. How does the factory ensure that each piece is uniform when producing on such a massive scale? The answer lies in a process called molding. The flavored mixture is sent to specialized machines that shape each Skittle into its familiar lentil form. This is where the term lentil comes into play. It's not just a cute nickname, but the actual industry term for each individual Skittle. But the journey doesn't end there. After molding, the candies make their way to a panning station. This is where the real magic happens. The Skittles are separated by color and any irregular pieces are removed. It's like a massive sorting system, ensuring that only the perfect specimens make it to the next stage. You might think that's enough quality control, but the Skittles factory takes it even further. Every single candy undergoes an X-ray inspection. Yes, you heard that right, X-rays for candy. This high-tech process ensures consistency in shape and size across millions of Skittles. It's this level of precision that guarantees you get the same satisfying crunch with every bite. The attention to detail doesn't stop there. Each Skittle color undergoes a four to six hour process to achieve its vibrant hue. This isn't just about making them look pretty. The precise coloring is crucial for the overall Skittles experience. After all, we eat with our eyes first, right? But here's where things get really interesting. Despite all this careful sorting and coloring, many feel the flavor of a Skittle has no relation to its color. Remember that colorless batter from earlier? The flavoring happens before the candies are lacquered, resulting in a brief colorless phase. It's like a blank canvas waiting to be painted with the rainbow. This disconnect between color and flavor leads to an astounding fact. In a single bag of Skittles, there are a whopping 371,292 potential flavor combinations. That's right, over 300,000 possibilities in one little package. It's this complexity that makes every handful of Skittles a unique experience. Behind the scenes, dedicated research and development teams work tirelessly on each individual flavor. They conduct taste tests in controlled environments to ensure that each flavor stands out, even when color cues are removed. It's a testament to the science and artistry behind these tiny treats. While Skittles have achieved global success, there's one quirk about them that most people don't realize. The color you see has nothing to do with the flavor you taste, a subject of much debate. So how do these candies get their iconic rainbow appearance, and why the mismatch? The answer lies in a fascinating process called lacquering. After the Skittles have been molded into their distinctive lentil shape, they undergo a four to six hour transformation that gives them their vibrant hues. This step is entirely separate from the flavoring process, which happens much earlier in production. During lacquering, each Skittle is coated with a thin, colored shell. This isn't just about making them look pretty. The precise coloring is crucial for the overall Skittles experience. After all, we eat with our eyes first, right? The technology behind this process is a testament to the engineering involved in candy production. But why go through all this trouble to color the candies separately from flavoring them? It's all about creating a unique sensory experience. When you pop a handful of Skittles in your mouth, your brain is processing both the visual cues from the colors and the taste from the flavors. This disconnect between color and flavor leads to an astounding 371,292 potential flavor combinations in a single bag of Skittles. Once the Skittles have their colorful shells, it's time for packaging. This isn't as simple as just pouring the candies into bags. The factory uses a special blending belt to ensure a balanced mix of flavors in each pack. This step is crucial for maintaining the Skittles experience. Every handful should be a rainbow, after all. The science behind flavor balance is more complex than you might think. Each flavor needs to stand out, even when color cues are removed. That's why dedicated research and development teams work tirelessly on each individual flavor conducting taste tests in controlled environments. In recent years, Skittles production has seen some significant changes. 
Since 2009, the candy has been suitable for vegetarians and vegans, thanks to the removal of gelatin from the ingredients. This change reflects a growing awareness of dietary preferences and restrictions among consumers. But here's a mini payoff for you. Despite all the care that goes into balancing flavors, not all Skittles are created equal in the eyes of consumers. A survey found that strawberry, red, is the most popular Skittle flavor, while lemon, yellow, is the least favored. This information helps shape production decisions and marketing strategies. The attention to detail in Skittles production extends beyond just taste and appearance. Every single candy undergoes an X-ray inspection to ensure consistency in shape and size. It's this level of precision that guarantees you get the same satisfying crunch with every bite, regardless of the color or flavor. While Skittles have become a global phenomenon, their journey extends far beyond the factory floor. These colorful candies have played unexpected roles in marketing, social issues, and even legal battles. How has Skittles' impact reached beyond the candy aisle? Skittles has pushed the boundaries of traditional marketing with some truly unique campaigns. In a surprising move, the brand created a Super Bowl ad that was shown to only one person, 17-year-old Marcos Menendez, instead of airing it to millions of viewers. This unconventional approach was described as, quote, inherently really funny and subversive, unquote, challenging the notion of mass marketing during one of the biggest advertising events of the year. But Skittles didn't stop there. In 2019, they took their marketing to Broadway, staging a one-time musical called Skittles Commercial, the Broadway Musical. Featuring Michael C. Hall, the production was a meta-commentary on advertising itself, with songs like This Might Have Been a Bad Idea and Advertising Ruins Everything. This bold move showcased Skittles' willingness to poke fun at itself and the advertising industry as a whole. However, Skittles' role in society hasn't always been lighthearted. The candy became an unintended symbol during the Trayvon Martin case, as protesters used Skittles, which Martin was carrying at the time, to represent the social issues surrounding his death. Mars, the parent company of Skittles, faced criticism for their initially subdued response to this situation. Later, they addressed a related social media post with more tact, demonstrating the challenges brands face when unexpectedly thrust into sensitive social issues. In 2016, Skittles made another socially conscious move by temporarily changing their candy color to white in support of Pride Month. Their statement, only one rainbow deserves to be the center of attention, yours, aimed to show solidarity with the LGBTQ community. However, this marketing decision received mixed reactions, with some interpreting it as a failure to acknowledge the diversity within the LGBTQ community itself. Recent years have seen Skittles facing more serious challenges. The European Union's food regulators found that titanium dioxide, an additive used in Skittles, could potentially damage DNA and lead to cancer. This discovery prompted the EU to phase out the sales of Skittles containing this ingredient, with a full ban on the additive enacted in August 2022. The controversy didn't stop there. In 2022, a class action lawsuit was filed in California regarding the continued use of titanium dioxide in Skittles, highlighting ongoing concerns about food safety and health implications. These issues have undoubtedly influenced the production and perception of Skittles over time. The company has had to navigate complex legal and regulatory landscapes, adapt their manufacturing processes, and carefully manage their public image in response to these challenges. Despite these hurdles, Skittles continues to expand its global reach. Production facilities now operate in locations like Yorkville, Illinois, alongside other popular brands like Lifesavers. This expansion reflects the candy's enduring popularity and its ability to maintain its position as a staple in various markets around the world.